Hey guys, this is PKS. Welcome back to my channel. Tech interviews are highly competitive these days. It's not a test of your skills. It's a test of your skills on a specific day. A person should be very proficient at coding as well system design. Nowadays, lot of companies start asking system design for even SD one role, right? This particular video is for tips on how to crack system design interview. If you are interested in coding interview tips, please check it out my previous video. So guys, let's get started. So system design questions are subjective in manner. There is no definitive right or wrong answer in it. But to crack interview, you must have a structured approach, right? This structured approach has five pointers in my opinion. Number one, functional and non-functional requirements. Number two, capacity estimation. Number three, you must solve a problem and create a high level diagram or HLD. Number four, define APIs and schema of database which you choose to solve the problem. Number five is discuss trade-offs. So let's go into the detail of all these pointers. So in any system design interview, you will get a problem statement in a one liner or two liner right so you first have to confirm the functional requirement and non-functional requirements right for an example interviewer ask you design instagram or design tiny url kind of service right or maybe interviewer specifically focus on one component for an example how uh, video upload should work in instagram right so let's take one example and go with that. So let's say interviewer ask you how to design Instagram, right? So you have to first, since you have just 45 minutes or 60 minutes for an interview. So you have to clarify functional requirement and non-functional requirement. So functional requirement, maybe he can ask you how to upload a video and like a video, comment on a video. So this is the functional requirement, right? And if we talk about the non-functional requirement, so for an example, the first thing come into the picture that is how many daily active users to use that particular service. That means how many DAU daily active users to upload the video, like the video, comment the video or share the video, right? So the first thing is basically daily active users and you have to estimate that, right? And second is what will be the latency of that, right? So latency will be under 100 millisecond. That will be a one kind of basically non-functional requirement, right? So similarly, there are a lot of other example for the non-functional requirement like system should be available 100%, right? System should be fault tolerant. So these are the basic examples which you have to be covered. How much scalable system is, right? Basically, so once you are clear with functional and non-functional requirement, then take a deep breath and think about how to solve the problem. So output of the functional requirement is how you solve the problem, right? And non-functional requirement, the output is which resources you will use and how much resources and how much, what kind of database you will use, how will be the latency and overall infra will use and the cost estimation as well so second pointer is capacity estimation so in this basically you should focus about how much resources will be used how you store the data what kind of the database you will use is it a relational database or a distributed database right going to use cloud-based service or a simple virtual machine right and also are you going to use ec2 or ecs so you have to estimate all the things either is it related to data storing or is it related to 
time or capacity or you can say latency so point number three is every interviewer expect you must solve the problem right so you have to define rest apis or microservice endpoints for that and you have to define which database you will use for that particular module right so the first step to solve the problem you have to design hld or high label diagram and in that you can showcase how your different components are connected to each other how the data flow will work right and further you can explain these are the endpoints so this way it will help you so point number four is share rest apis and db designs so in this basically you can do a deep dive or you can say go on a low level right you can share which tables you are using what should be the columns or if you are going to use any no sql database then you can share how you store the data right and definitely you have to share the api endpoints how it should be post call update call right so share all the details you can also design class diagram or a basically flow chart you can also design er diagram to showcase your database tables to the interviewer and the last point is that is the most crucial and the important one that most of the developers i have seen missed that is discuss the trade-offs of the solution you have provided even i have taken 200 plus interviews in my entire career and i have seen a lot of people basically spend time on to solve the problem or go into more detail and forget about how to discuss trade-offs of the system solution you have given to the interviewer that is the most important part because system design questions are purely subjective in manner so you have to discuss about the scalability and how system work the fault tolerant availability of the system right so these things are very very important this structured approach you have to so basically i have given five pointers right so you have to think in a way you distribute your entire 60 minute time into a uh, different according to these pointers so that you can not only focus only one pointer you have to cover all the pointers in interview so this structured approach will help you to crack the interview and definitely try to precise and straightforward how much you can start with a nav solution and then go to optimize a solution so guys that's all for this particular video please do like comment and share thank you